watch hentai all the time with Senpai. My soul is tormented by a succubus Call a sis, pants who dripping from the way I spit Fell in love with so this is what we're going to be making in the video so if you want to follow along with the tutorial then continue watching the video otherwise all the files are in my discord and my discord link should be in the description so yeah let's just get right into it Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to make a money wash script which we're going to turn this place into a place where you can wash your dirty money slash money from, from like robberies and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give myself some dirty money, uh, money. I must see what ID I am there. Now we just have some black money to test it on. So we will need to create a folder, uh, create a directory, um, money wash. Um, by the way, I'm creating a new Discord, which I will have all my Discord scripts in both this uh, place, because it doesn't really look like this without the uh, map files and I will put the uh, finished script in there so yeah just check the description if you want it so since this is going to be an ESX script we need a resource resource.lua config to make it easy server directory client directory main.lua dragged into the client main.lua dragged into the server so let's just start with the resource.lua because we need to set this up so we have to do server scripts since we are using a config we have to import two scripts both the config and the server slash main.lua same with client scripts, client scripts, config.lua, client.main.lua. That should be everything. And uh, let's set up the config. So we will need a config, an empty config table. We will add the location, config.location. I'm going to get my coordinates 11.03 so you know 46.11 equals vector 3 and then the con shit config dot max distance equals 4 maybe this is the distance the text will start to render and this is the distance you have to be to actually click it there that's everything for that now let's go into the client.lua need to have a esx equals nil a player loaded equals false this is just because otherwise it will start drawing the text when it when the player is not loaded which might not be that good so I'm just going to create a function for drawing the text text x comma y comma c comma text comma scale this is quite a popular function I didn't really make it a lot of people use it world 3d to screen 2d this is since we need to turn the 3d location of this in the shot into a position on the screen local p x comma p y comma p c it's table dot umpire get get game play 
can cord. This will be used to decide if we're going to draw the text or not. Scale comma scale. Set text font. You can choose anyone. Any font can probably search them up. Set text proportion one. Set text entry string. And the one acts like a bool, so zero is uh, false and one is true, I'm quite sure. For the set text proportional, set text color, we want it to be black, or you can choose any color. That's the uh, opacitor, like, uh, yeah, opacity basically. A text component string text actually adding the text so you can see it draw text dash x dash y local factor equals string dot len text draw rect this is just for a cool effect Comma 0.3, comma 41, 41 there too. That should work. Now we actually have to initialize uh, ESX, which we have to do by creating a thread, because otherwise you can't really access ESX. So we have to do while ESX equals equals nil do. This is also default scripts like every ESX script will probably have this get shared object comma function object ESX equals object and citizen dot wait zero so we don't crash the game while ESX dot get player data dot job equals equals nil do and citizen dot wait 100 this is just basically to wait for the play data to initialize and player loaded will be set to true at this point and yeah we have to get the location right now config dot config dot location while true do because we need to have the text drawing in a while loop we probably want to get the player chords get entity chords player ped id you can actually call this like ped chords there if player loaded you'll see it's true then this might be a little bit a little bit useless since this will always be loaded but if you would have this in another thread like down there you would need it so i'm just going to add that by default um, if vdist is checking the diff distance config dot location no let's just do location since we actually imported it config dot max distance and, and this is where we're going to draw the free 3d text location dot x comma location dot y comma location dot location dot c sorry um, let's do like press like uh, let me see 5 um, keys and let's just scroll down I think it's quite close here there. that should work white to wash your dirty money and now let's no uh, let's actually add a scale since otherwise it will list error and now let's say, check if the click distance is 
no, no same thing here, we actually imported it, sorry, config.click distance, and this control pressed 1,38, and if you look at this again, 38 is E, so if it's close enough to click and E is being clicked, then this will be executed. Since we're working with money, slash giving money, we want it to be a server event, so I'm just going to do money, wash, wash money. That should be everything for our client, now we just have to make the event on the server. So same thing here, esx equals nil, trigger event, esx get shared object comma function object sorry my, my throat is quite sore right now uh, register server event uh, we want to do money wash wash money quite sure that's what we called it yep just copy that add event handler this is going to be the function which which gets executed when the event is triggered. So we want to get the player. Let's just do PLR. Is get player from ID. ID source. That should get the player. Black money. This is just amount of money. Player dot get account. Black money dot money so if black money is not equal to zero so if the player actually has some black money then this wants to get executed but let's just uh, do the make the stuff which gets executed if the player doesn't have any black money so we want to show a notification which we can do with this this player dot source comma you don't have any dirty money comma come back later when you do and right here we want to do x no not x player sorry i'm just used to calling it x player since that's basically like the default remove account money black money comma black money this should uh, remove all of the black money and trigger client isec show notification comma player dot source comma washing your dirty money we can actually do your uh, Oh yeah, let's actually make that into a green color. Um, black money to string. Dirty money. And then we used to wait like five seconds. Since this is milliseconds, so one second is 1000 milliseconds. Meaning we have to wait 5000. Add money. Black money trigger client event is there uh, here you go comma like run before anyone sees you that should work and we haven't really added this to our server so we kind of have to restart it and sure money wash I will be back when the service restarted okay guys so I found three problems actually so first off I did dot client dot main instead of client slash main and in here I named this pad chords instead of chords but I kept this as chords don't need that, that was just for debugging. So we rename this and this to co pad codes and add citizen.wait0 right there. And 
yeah I'll see you when I'm in game and now I'm in game and I actually found another error sorry I was trying to type everything really fast because I don't really want the video to become too long but a simple restart of the script will fix that probably Please work. Oh, wait, what is it? Just gameplay, sorry. Sorry again, I guess. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, it kinda looks like you can't use the custom things in there so I'm just going to replace this for a like homemade version uh, some other problem maybe oh shit what has happened now Is, oh, I legit added a common error. How many errors have I done? There, washing your 1030 money. Uh, here, go run before anyone sees you. But we're actually going to add like a allow wash equals true. If allow wash equals true, then. Um, so when this gets clicked, you're not going to be able to spam it. So it's in dot create thread function and uh, allow wash equals false. Set this and dot wait like two thousand five hundred. Allow wash equals true. That should make the system a lot better. Set account money, one black money, 1000 again. And now everything should be working. Turns out it doesn't. I guess we will have to do that in there, maybe. Uh, bro, that's not nice though. 2500. Yeah. But I think you guys get the point. It will obviously have some minor uh, errors or whatever bugs. But if you guys check out my new Discord server in the description, all of those bugs will be changed and I will uh, upload both this laundry room slash map and the scripts for free there. So yeah, bye guys.